Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Dave Bryan. While there's a lot of talk about the future of the quarterback position for the Pittsburgh Steelers this offseason, and understandably so, there isn't much talk about one specific quarterback the team has that is set to become an unrestricted free agent four weeks from now. That specific quarterback is none other than Joshua Dobbs, who spent the entire 2021 season on the team's reserve injured list with a foot injury. After missing the entire 2021 season, Dobbs has become an afterthought, and that's not too surprising. Because of that, Dobbs is sure to not have much of an offseason market again, which has been the case with him the last few offseasons. Should the Steelers re-sign Dobbs for the minimum again this offseason, if at all possible? Personally, I think they should, and here's why. With veteran quarterback Ben Roethlisberger now out of the picture, Dobbs would likely be the smartest quarterback on the Steelers' offseason roster if re-signed and if another experienced veteran isn't brought in via free agency or a trade. Should the Steelers decide to not add an experienced outside quarterback to the fold, but instead add a young signal caller via the draft, Dobbs would be a perfect player to help mentor that youngster throughout the offseason, and especially when it comes to helping learn the offense that Matt Canada plans to run. Look, the Steelers are probably going to carry four quarterbacks during most of the offseason, with Mason Rudolph and Dwayne Haskins likely included in those four. Carrying Dobbs again as a minimum salaried fourth quarterback throughout the summer wouldn't be a bad idea at all. After all, having a quarterback like him on the bottom of the depth chart and pushing those ahead of him wouldn't be an awful thing at all. Anything can happen during training camp and the preseason games when it comes to injuries as well. So that's yet another reason why it wouldn't be a bad decision to re-sign Dobbs in the coming months. And once again, especially if the Steelers decide against adding a different veteran quarterback before the draft takes place. Should the Steelers be in a hurry to re-sign Dobbs right now? Absolutely not. After all, they didn't re-sign him last year until roughly 10 days before the draft took place. That was roughly one full month into free agency. Might we see a repeat of that again this offseason? We certainly could. I think we'll learn a lot about the direction the Steelers will take with the quarterback position for 2022 in the next six weeks, as at that point we'll be two weeks into free agency with the draft starting to get very close. If six weeks from now Dobbs remains unsigned and the Steelers haven't yet added another quarterback via a trade or free agency, look for them to add Dobbs back again via a one-year veteran benefit deal. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with myself and Alex Kazora every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.